Once a month or so, Lindsay Smith, CEO and founder of Massive Media Inc., shares her massive high-tech brain with us. She is firmly rooted in the e-world and is affectionately known as a wired woman. It is my pleasure to welcome Smith back to Studio 4 to tell and show us more. Hello, Fanny. Hi, iPad fever has hit. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been it, out for only a few days now, and all of the stores have pretty much sold out and already have their second shipments in. And the techies uh, went to the United States when it appeared there and yeah. already ordered or ordered one online, so they've had them for uh, a few weeks or a month True. or two. They came out on April 23rd in the U.S., so they have been available to us here in Canada if we were willing to make the trek. Mm -hmm. uh, before we go iPadding, there's probably a trendy term for it. I have iPadding. no idea. iPadding. I have no idea. You just idea. made that up, but I like it. I did, yes. <laughs> uh, have you been iPadding lately? <laughs> no, but I plan to. Yes. Okay. Uh, Betty White, I don't know if you saw the set live gig, but when she found out about Facebook mm. and the groundswell of Facebookers, she said, you know, now that I know what it is, it sounds like a huge waste of time. <laughs> She's 80. Yeah, well, I can. Something. I would say it's it's a a time sucker. It's something mm -hmm. that people get drawn into, and they spend a lot of time both updating their own profiles and then creeping around on other people's profiles, as we call it. So always looking and, and seeing like what's going on with this person in their their photo albums or what their latest status or you know mm -hmm. that kind of thing. You're you're on there now, Fanny. I'm on there, but not my picture. No, and I don't post anything. And my kids say, Mother, like, you should post something. Because you're a creeper. I, I guess you're I'm... You're just looking at other people's and I don't profiles. Write on, I don't write on people's walls, either. <laughs> you don't write on the walls? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? I'm hopeless at, as being a, a, a Facebook groupie. But I do uh, like keeping track of my children. Mm -hmm. And you can, as a parent, online. And speaking of that, uh, Facebook prowler... Uh, arrested allegedly uh, texting or, or doing other things, inviting sexual touching young girls, mm -hmm. uh, luring young girls, perhaps young boys, don't details, but big yeah, warning there. Mm -hmm. Parents, if you think your kids are just yeah, that is Pulling the danger. Around. I mean, this has been happening online for a, a very long time since you know since the inception of, of the internet, and, and but it was happening in, in a different forum before. It was happening in online forums and online communities um, that weren't quite as evolved to the to the way that Facebook is now. Um, it's just much more. It's a much more accepted. Um, behavior in our city to be online and, and, and connecting that way. Uh, so unfortunately, it makes it easier for predators mm -hmm. or potential predators to access uh, uh, children. And it's, um, but it's not something that, I mean, it just goes into the reg regular education that y when you're a parent to teach a child um, not to talk to strangers. And that goes for Facebook too. You shouldn't be accepting, because you can set your, have your settings set so that um, people can't ask you to be their friend, mm -hmm. but if you do open it up to that and it's a stranger and you don't know those people, then you shouldn't be. Yes, and a police officer is not going to say to you online, I have a skateboard for you, meet me at the coffee shop. Exactly. That is not going to happen. Exactly. Uh, 400 million users around the world, something like that, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Now, they did have first ever quit Facebook Day. They did. I don't know who the profile, if many did. They got about 25,000 people signing up to support the concept of Quit Facebook Day, and the whole uh, concept behind it was that it's too hard right now to set, or the, the public is saying it's too hard to set your security settings on Facebook, and they need to be here for people. And um, so, because Facebook isn't reacting quickly enough to it, they're saying we're we're going to boycott Facebook because we don't. Uh, it's just a public reaction sure. to, mm -hmm. uh, and with. Uh, the world we're in, uh, it's easy to marshal the forces. Mm -hmm. It is, I know. Yes. It's, it's funny. The exact uh, tool that Facebook has given to connect us all for the purpose of, you know, hopefully good for them has actually backlashed against them because their own platform is connecting people to hot them. Sure. Um, so I, I don't know how many people actually signed off of Facebook and I, I mean I did hear reports of people saying that well I'll sign off for one day but then I'll just sign back mm -hmm. up again so I think it was more of a, a social movement than necessarily a serious thing that's going to Facebook um, from, sure. the, from the business side of it. So the message was uh, new privacy settings make them simple. Make them simpler yeah because there's like about 40 or 50 or more different settings that you can use but 
that's because people ask for customization. See, I think this is the funny side of it is we want to be set all of our different levels of security so that each of us can have allow different people to see different things and if you the more you want the more complicated it gets so Facebook's responding to that and saying okay well we'll make all these different settings so that you can customize it to what your needs are but then other people come in and go well now I'm just confused right now so you've given me too many options it's the kiss principle keep it simple stupid yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gordon Clark wrote a very funny piece in the uh, province about goodbye cruel e-world I'm done to a better place my e-life my membership I feel like that sometimes. Finished. <laughs> Goodbye, all my electro buddies. I'm going back to the fountain pen and the books and the papers. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, in the real world, uh, social media is a very like valuable it. tool, I as like you know. Mm -hmm. A LinkedIn business. Do you like that? I like it. Um, I, I actually I'll give, share something with you. I'm booted off of LinkedIn, and I can't figure out why. So I've got an inquiry, and they'll, they'll do that sometimes. If you sign in a few different, uh, you don't forget your password. Right. They're supposed to knock you out hours. But I'm boycotted from it. So. You're booted 